empanar, the Spanish word for to enwrap in bread. <laughs> this looks good. Good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. It is Fiestas Patrias, my favorite time of the year. It beats any other celebration. It's so exciting to be here in Chile during Fiestas Patrias, drinking wine, celebrating with friends and family, and of course, eating empanadas. Empanadas are a staple here in Chile, especially when you get just the right kind made by just the right people. But there's also a type of empanada in the United States, and we're going to delve into that today too. So, empanadas in Chile or empanadas in the United States? Which one is going to win? Let's, uh, let's go find out. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> So first of all, empanadas in the United States. Empanadas in the United States are called Hot Pockets. And they were developed a few years ago, I think in the early 2000s. And they're basically something you just throw into the microwave, heat up, and you're ready to eat. I've never eaten a Hot Pocket and then afterwards been, I'm glad I ate that. I'm always like, I'm gonna die. Whereas here in Chile, they're handmade hot and ready without using any sort of a microwave. And I've talked about fast foods before in that there's fast food with Wendy's, Burger King, McDonald's, you drive through and you have your food all ready. This is really popular in the United States, but you also have fast food in the house with hot pockets and you throw something in the microwave and it's all ready to go and nice and soggy and disgusting for you to eat. Whereas here in Chile, you have something called an empanada, which is hot and ready, but freshly hot and ready by somebody who knows exactly what they're doing in making something in wrapped in bread. Because inside of here, you have something special in an empanada. Whereas in the United States, it's more just like a pizza that's wrapped up in some bread. Here in Chile, there's some way of doing it that's, that's very specific. In fact, when I went to Ecuador and I went to the mitad del mundo, there was a place selling empanadas de Chile because there's a special way that you make them here in Chile that uh, Oh, it's just so good, especially during Fiestas Patrias. You have to have an empanada de pino. It is the best kind of empanada that you could possibly have in the entire world. And, uh, well, I have, I have a couple of them right here. The first kind that you can get is this empanada de pino. And this one right here is, um, well, it looks so good. It's warm delicious, and also, I feel like it's a little more healthy because it's baked. You can either get these empanadas baked or you can get them fried. So a baked or a fried, which one is your favorite? Leave it in the comments right below. I'm interested to find out. Fried, baked, fried is not as healthy but delicious. Baked is more healthy, I guess bigger sometimes. Usually I think these are typically bigger and these are typically smaller so you can eat more of these and this one is pretty filling. This one right here is the one that I usually go with because it's baked. I feel like it's a little more healthy although I do prefer the fried ones like any fried food and in general I prefer the fried because it's just so delicious. But when you open this up You will see the insides here are so, so good. So you've got that meat right in here. You've got your egg. So you have a hard boiled egg inside of here. And you've got some onions. You can see the steam coming right off of this. It's so, so good. And then you have something really special in that you have this olive inside of here. The olive is a really, really big deal and it has this little pit inside of it that 
at the beginning, when I first moved here, I thought it was really weird to put this olive inside of here. Now, after five years, it's my favorite thing about the empanada. It's so, so good. Mixed with those fried onions and that, that ground beef, mm, it is so good. Now, I've also got two other ones in here. We've got this one here. This one is with cheese. Delicious fried cheese, so, so good. We've got another one that is the, uh, ooh, this one is filled nicely. We've got the empanada de pino, but this one is fried and oh, it looks so good. Filled with the same stuff, but just uh, in the fried form. It's delicious. So I'm interested to know what you guys think of empanadas. Do you like the empanada de pino? Or do you like the Napolitana? For me, when I first got here, I loved that Napolitana because it was something familiar to me in kind of a, a pizza taste to it and wrapped up in bread. And you all know that I love my bread. So leave it in the comments. What's your favorite kind of empanada? There are different kinds all throughout the world, but the empanada Hot Pockets in the United States are horrible. I mean, garbage. I was looking at a box of Hot Pockets. They have a warning printed on the side. So, warning, you just bought Hot Pockets. Compared to this fresh, handmade Hot Pocket empanada. The other thing that was interesting about when we moved here to Chile is that you hear a lot of gringos calling empanadas, empanadas. And I remember making this mistake when I first moved here. I don't know why there's no enye in empanada in Spanish or in English, but for us gringos, there's no enye in any of our language. So for me, I was just confused. I thought, eh, we just throw it in, in enye in wherever we want to throw it in. But that's not the case, empanada. So. Don't make my mistake. <laughs> Anyways, empanadas are, um, are a staple for Fiestas Patrias. Everyone is making them. Everyone is eating them. And you have to eat them with some delicious wine. And also, you gotta celebrate with flying a kite, being outside, the weather's getting nicer outside, and it's just a beautiful time to be here in Chile. But also beautiful is that these empanadas aren't just for fiestas patrias. Empanadas are for all time of the year. Empanadas are for winter, summer, but typically, I'm guessing they sell 80% of all empanadas consumed in Chile during fiestas patrias because they're just so classical here in this time of the year. Also, grilling out. So when you have fiestas patrias, you eat the empanadas, but you also eat a grill out of meat, and then you eat another meal afterwards. So if you haven't seen my video about Fiestas Patrias here in Chile, you can just go check out the link right up here. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoy your Fiestas Patrias and enjoy your empanadas throughout the year. Empanadas are a beautiful part of Chile. You can get them at a corner store right down the road. You can call and they'll deliver your empanadas for you. You can go to a nice fancy restaurant and order an empanada. They're that popular here in Chile and in Latin America and in Spain and many other parts around the world. Empanadas are very, very popular. But here in Chile, empanadas de pino is the best and unique to Chile. If I were to go somewhere else and make an empanada, I would make the empanada de pino. It is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this, enjoy my Fiestas Patrias, maybe open both of these bottles of wine, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, ciao, let's go.